They win 11 out of every 10 games they play. Yeah, you just win one more victory when you... All right. No, you get the default, because they're like, oh, I'm not playing this. That's kind of how I feel sometimes. Yep, draw going mid. I just like ran him in here. I'm like, I'm not playing this. <laughs> it's like, no way. It's not happening. Somebody draw me. out of visage. Well, I think uh, draw is more... For me, it's okay, but I, I don't really particularly like to hear that much. Okay. And Visage is just like, nope, don't want to micro, too lazy. <laughs> because he's going Quas Wix Invoker because of the Blade of Attack. You know, I used to say that too, and then I saw people actually go Phase Boots as an Exhort. Yeah. I just... Uh, I know, I like Paratreads or straight into Boots of Travel. I don't no, like yeah, I, I agree with that. I'm just saying that I've seen people actually go Blade of Attack in the, oh, in the phase. Oh, Pylite died! Could be a big uh -oh. fissure. There's Pilot all five died. of them. What? Are they going to get any spells off? Oh, 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 oh. Everyone! Okay. You okay, know so why? Fog Misery has sacrifice. Well, yeah, but Fogged also didn't have a skill point in either. Hmm. Well, uh, I don't know, man. Uh, I actually don't know what circumstance battle. you would not skill net. Like, on Naga Siren, is there any point in any Especially game... Especially as a support. Right, as a support where you would not just get net When you have one. Murana on your team? Yeah. I'm Murana... Because I feel like he should have just had that skilled and they should have just killed him. There was like this point where like all five of them just come around the corner and Pilot was like, oh shit! And there's like Fisher's five of them. Oh, yeah. well, they dropped some wards in the jungle, I guess. Yeah, but they're gonna know. Like... They're pinging the, the hell out of them too. The battle begins. Yeah. Alright, AI. Oh, he's gonna have to use two sentries for this one. If they wanna pull. Ooh, oh. Flying Vision! What a remnant. What a remnant. Beautiful. That's pretty neato. Does Remnant count as like a, a a unit to block? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Know. Okay. It's so it's like it, the fire spirits and it's stuff. It's ethereal. It or used to. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. I'm pretty sure at one point it did. In the beginning days of Dota 2, it did. In Dota 1, it did not. Okay. Well, Good it old looks like fog. Oh, that's why. That's why he didn't get. He's mana fighting Pilai die. Get out of here, blocking the ancients. Yeah, but let's be honest, even if you were a man fighting, you wouldn't need Riptide to beat an Earthshaker with his massive two base armor. And he's gonna ward a sentry the guy has coming a around. Giant Fog? Bug. Fog, what a player. He knows. He knows, man. He knows. I mean that's what happens when you do the same thing, like every single game people just eventually they're like, I know what I'm gonna do. Nah, pile I die. He's got the recovery method. Recovery pull, method, man. yeah. Easy. It could work out. We'll see. We'll see. And I mean the worst case scenario is Bone Seven comes and takes a stack. Nope, Fissure. Look, this magical He actually happened. failed stacked, yeah. Mm -hmm. It didn't didn't work. Yeah, but you, no, you just want to deny this wave. <gasps> Don't mess it up, <laughs> Pi! Alright. That, yeah, that's it. ridiculous, to be honest. Yeah, this, they like, actually, Shaker should not be able to do this. They intentionally moved the camps around so you, you couldn't, couldn't do, do this. this yeah. Because Fnatic used to do this all the time with Wisp, and they would break the trees, and Batriders would do it too. They would just eat the trees and just like pull to the camp and deny all mid experience. And they they changed it to make it not possible. And now yeah. people are just making it possible again. He, he's going to pull the mid camp now. Now, that actually brings up an interesting question. Is it just a selling point to pick ES because he can do this when you're Radiant? No. Or is it just broken. Earthshaker, should, Earthshaker is already good enough hero where you don't need to do this, and uh, no hero should be able to do this. Okay. I don't think so. Wasn't that Poppy that used to play Earthshaker all the time? Yep, he loves yeah. that hero. Yeah. As far as I know, he actually doesn't like Enigma. Like, I don't think he likes playing it. He drafts it for himself all the time. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, but I, that's what I mean. Like, he's picking it because it fits the situation, not necessarily because he likes the hero. I don't know. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure he didn't like it. Oh no, Pi. In case. It's kind of the same thing when Dendi got to play Dragon Knight at TI. Oh, and yeah. then everyone was that like, why the hell is Dendi playing oh, Dragon Knight? Game. It was tough. Dragon Knight's not a bad mid hero. It no, just but doesn't suit him. But yeah, it doesn't suit the player. I mean, he's playing DK nowadays. Yeah, but that's just because he has to. Puppy's like, it's his job. playing this. And then he's like, all right, it's fine. Man, he's going to argue, really. So, what the miss? Lanes are pretty stagnant at the moment. I don't really think that um, Dog has really any intention on roaming. Oh, but I need to be careful. Oh, what a that Fissure actually blocks Misery on the wrong side, so Sink can't do any damage on his own. Owie no, might well. try to get a couple of auto attacks <laughs> oh. off, and now he's realizing First I am in a really bad spot. That Fissure <laughs> totally <laughs> backfired, <laughs> blocking two of Team Dog on the wrong side, and Owie pays the price. Pile I Die is now saying, oh god, I'm so sorry.
Yep. First up, first blood gave to smuggling, so he's gonna. You think he's gonna go quick face this? Yeah, it seems like Tranquil Boot has been a very popular choice on Centaur. What do you think on the Boots choice upgrade? I think Tranquil is okay, just because when you're spamming double edge in lane, like using a spell doesn't actually break the Tranquils, mm -hmm. but it will break if you auto attack, so I don't know, it depends. I think that Tranquils can kind of hurt you sometimes if you're trying to chase, but you should usually be relying on Blink Initiation and Stampede to stay caught up, you know, with whoever you're trying to go on. Right. And just having the HP regen is nice to never really have to go back to base. Yeah, I agree. I actually think Tranquil is somewhat underrated. Uh, when the first Tranquil came out, I thought, oh man, it breaks, it's not going to be too good. But the armor that it's left over is so, so good. And you're going to be spending a, time, a lot of time walking around. So having that residual regen whenever you do get it back up, it's pretty good. When they yeah. actually nerfed Tranquil Boots, I hadn't played uh, Dota in like two weeks. And I got back, and I was trying to click the Tranquil Boots, and I was like, what the fuck is going on here, guys? And I thought my like keyboard was broken or something. I really think with um, like the Tranquil Boot change, they should be able to be disassembled. I don't think yeah. that they should be permanently stuck. But, as but then boots. everyone was buying them on like PL. Uh oh, by the way, Bone Seven is gonna just die right now. I'm gonna surge out, and actually they're gonna try to get some the return kill on the Regus. Oh, no Vac. No, it doesn't stop TPs. The silence. Yeah, no one really has vacuum at level four. Meanwhile, Balling here seems a little bit of trouble. He got Nova up and smuggling. He's moving fast. Oh. That centaur's got boots. Oh, fog the Nova. Fog it again. Fissure's gonna come through. Oh, it's gonna be a smuggling. They're gonna try to burst him down. Here comes. Oh my God, do it again. Double oh, 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 damage, magic stick. You know what you say to that? You say that worth. Uh, it's fucking huge. Got him. There's a really happy centaur right now. Sing, sing through, man. That was really I mean, interesting that he decided to turn like that. Yeah, he had to kill. The thing is, Storm is incredibly slow. Like, he has, what, 280 move speed now? And he's made of lightning as well, which doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I know. You figure, like, fast lightning. Yeah. Not, not this game, man. No. Logic, not even once. Yeah, it's 2-1 to one right now in favor of uh, Team Dog, and currently the highest farmer in the game is PyCat, who's sitting at uh, 27 and 16. Now, I mean, this lane is not really too hard for him by any stretch, because Murata doesn't really care about Ion Shell, and you can just spam uh, Star Storm when things get a little bit too hairy for you. I wasn't paying attention close to the end of the draft, uh, but did you? S why do you think they went Darks here instead of some of Bat's... Or Bone Seven is more common here, like Batrider or a Clockwork. You think those are banned out, or honestly, I think it's because they wanted a mech carrier that wasn't Visage. I think that they wanted the Visage to be able to go Medallion, and then they wanted a, a hero to actually carry the mech. That way, they had somebody who would for sure be able to get the farm as an offlaner. Because at that point, your your last pick has to be an offlaner. Yeah. And who else can really give you the guaranteed kind of income to get you a mech fast enough that isn't Darkseer? I suppose. Oh, MSS could be in trouble here. He's going to be forced to invoke Ghost Walk. So. Some mana. Ghost Walk costs a lot of mana. And especially this time of the game, like even using an invoke Radiant kind of fucks up your thing you had gone. Because all of a sudden you have to re invoke other spells and get Ghost Walk out. So it's actually like costs more than you think. Like. Yeah. Um, yeah. Invoker is TPing straight back to base. He's expecting a gank. Meanwhile, on the bottling here, Misery. No. <laughs> Just casual soul assumption yeah. for like 90% <laughs> of Misery's health. No big deal. I honestly love Tranquil's on Lich. That's probably my favorite hero to get them on. CM's not bad. Either. Yeah, I'm a big fan of CM as well. It seems like any hero that has like a stable mana regeneration, just you know, yeah, you get the HP side as well. Yeah, this has been a fairly calm game aside from how the bot is going. We know Centaur is doing quite well because of the traits. We know Invoker is doing decently. And of course, Moran is doing quite well. It seems like this is Dog's game plan, or at least how they want to play it. Because every time we've seen Cloud9, they've always like loved their Roche. It's like kind of their thing. So do you think they'll get, like pressure the Roche early and go for that? Cloud9? Yeah. Like remember they got a, they did it on Evoker. They get the Mask of Madness on oh, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they always love getting Roche. I feel like for Roshan, it's more like, hey, we're doing well. We're gonna kill you a couple of times, and then we go for Roche. It's not exactly like Thanks a game surprise. priority. Yeah. So. Not Man, sure Aoi is just thing. abusing the side chop right now. I yeah. mean, there's, no, there's nothing going on. He's buying Sobi masks and rings of regen and yeah, selling them back. Nobody should be able to do and that. And then buying them again. Yep. I don't know. It's it's pretty funny. But he is going medallion because he kept one of the masks. Yeah, I don't so. think he should be able to do that either. It's so funny. He did it like ten times. I seen a guy like it's not so bad, but with a ring of health, it's like way way worse. 
Well, I mean, he could have bought a ring of health. He had the mana. Oh, light shadow yeah. initiation. He's, he's level six, Dead. but is he even going to be able to live through this? Oh, the chain oh, frost and the double edge. Is under the mini storm. Good, the chain frost. good night. Well, Dyer's going to spot out the MSS here middle as well. And his invoke is on cooldown. All right, Dyer's this is the same gank, right? Invis into initiation. Draw's got to get it. But Draw has like nothing. On I mean, oh, she has looked down. Tower is under attack. In fact, Invoker's running straight up here. Oh, Fissure is going to hit. The tower's going to be there, but the cold snap, oh, the right click. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. And we still like yeah. yeah. Watch Radiant's Invoker is kind of a kitten, unfortunately. He doesn't really do that much damage. Midas. Midas gaming. When Cloud9, they love that shit, don't they? They Same really, thing. really do. The thing is, and I think it was um, under actually Hani who said this uh, during the last Stream League Finals when we were interviewing him after a game. He said, typically buying a Midas is only good if it doesn't directly change Daya's the impact that your hero has attack. in the game at that point in time. Mm -hmm. And I don't really feel like it changes how much he would do at this point. Like, what other 1900 gold item would give him an impact great enough to the point where you say, okay, I need this. Mask of Madness? Yeah, but Mask of Madness is pretty much just an attack speed item. Yeah, yeah. And, and you're assuming Envy joins fights, which he Daya's typically doesn't really do until yeah. much later. Farms. Yeah. So, that, that's fine. He farms and push towers a lot uh, when other people are fighting. That's kind of what he looks to do. Yeah. I feel like Team Dog, they've started off pretty strong. They haven't really gotten like a gigantic advantage attack. or anything. The no towers have dropped for either side. Now they have. Straight well, up yeah. blink. Centaur. Oh, this is the Owie. Again, Owie. Slacked in the face. Not great. Yeah. Yeah, I think what, like... Dog is bringing something back really old school, like 2-1-2, two two, and your all your lanes have really good killing potential. It reminds me of days like Sven Lina, where you just like, you missed that once, you're eating a Storm Hammer, LSA into Dragon Slave. This is kind of what we're seeing with the Lich, Centaur on the bot, the Marana, and the Naga on top. It's it's doing quite a lot of work. They're picking up kills here and there. It's forcing AUI to move around and then still killing him. But the one thing they're not doing a good job of is shutting down Envy, which, you know, he's kind of farming fast. It's so hard to gank him in that position, though, because with the tier one bottom still being alive, like going into the woods is crazy risky. There's just so many areas that the like Cloud9 could react to and just come in and try to counter gank. So I'm not really surprised at the fact that they haven't really infiltrated the jungle too much, especially when they're finding kills on Sing. Sing's died twice. Yeah, true. You know, and it's a 10 minute game. So it's it's not like they're really losing out by killing another core. Sure, Envy is getting farm, but so is PyCat. I'd be even worried about Drow at all because they have the initiation to like punish him. Like Drow hates well, it's it's tough to say because if you initiate with Song to try to catch Envy, then there's a really good opportunity that Cloud9 can be able to react to that, especially if they manage to get Bone Seven with a mech. But actually, Bone Seven's also going Midas, so they're not going to have a mech <laughs> on him anytime soon. Yo, you get the mech after, really after, really after. Meanwhile, you can see that the bot lane is going to be smoke ganking, and yeah. Yeah, Envy he he dodged in the jungle for about. Oh, 20 man. seconds. He does oh, have the support of the birds. Question is, are they going to go quick kill? And the answer, I think so. Yeah, they're bursting the hell out of him. That is a quick, quick kill. Oh, that hurt. Well, they want to come back here. They actually block. Oh, no, they want. Oh. What? No. What the heck? No. It's going on right now. That was a huge waste of mana, actually, and they're not really going to get anything out of it. And Misery, we're he's still under the right channel. Here comes the blink in from Gogolik. Like, he's going to double edge. He might have just killed attack. himself, actually. Oh, he's going to run into the remnant and eat an auto attack, but Pycat, he, he gets a double he kill. Sees Wait, no, he's on a killing spree. Excuse me. Yeah, he's going to get Misery. Saying he does end up picking at the double, but that was so sloppy. It was so it's weird. Not done, yo. Here comes Fog. He's going to have to ensnare. There's no zip. Cheapy straight up. Where's Worth the arrow? Worth a song to cancel. Yep. Not going to be dead yet. Nice. It turned, it looked pretty bad for uh, Cloud9 in the beginning, and then it looked all right, but uh, when things clean up, Pika getting, what, two, three kills in that engagement? He, Jesus, he has a 4-0 streak. I don't know, man. That that fissure was questionable. Pylai Dai is definitely not bringing his A game here. I mean, it sort of blocked, right? No, it, no, it blocked the bad Radiant's way, though. Middle no, I, I think Sing Sing's attack. decision to go for the Invoker is, is a mistake. I think he should have gone no, for the No, for sure. Like, it, it was a mistake, but I still think it would have been better to have both heroes on the other side. It didn't actually block the Invoker, though. He just thought he was blocked. I thought yeah. as well. Yeah. Because we saw him walk past it, like, a few seconds later. I don't know. I just feel like that whole situation was, like, really awkward from Cloud9. Sure, Sing got two kills out of it, but PyCat found a kill in the meantime. While that was happening, and yeah, 4-0 for him. 
Dyer's middle tower is, this is, this is under Do you think a mechanism would help enough? Dyer's structures Maybe. are fortified. <laughs> I mean, it's a good item. 250 health. Like this early. Oh, wow. Hits on three target. Oh EMP God. and the stomp to follow it up. Pilot dies totally out of mana right now. MSS, he's attack. on a killing spree. Give Pycat oh, a mega oh, kill. The arrow oh, comes out. Oh, it makes contact. Shoot arrow. Dyer's Hit arrow. Holy oh, shit. That was... That escalated Dyer's quickly. That was beautiful, man. Who was the guy that says Cloud9, or sorry, Team Radiant Dogs come here to collect 5,000 or whatever? That, that, was, that was James. James. Yeah. That sounds like something James would say. Man, that guy's a dick. Man, these guys are playing really well. Radiant's and I gotta say, that was actually attack. the first stamp. He that looked like a stamp. You're not running away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going fast, Steve. You're going oh. in. Yeah, oh my god, god. what a deny from Visage. With the pilot I uh, And he just resummoned the burst too. Ain't no prop. That was beautiful. Alright, so... I gotta go for the team that has two drums right now. <laughs> That's your. That's my jam. Yeah. Like two bongos. I. I mean, how can you hate on it? It's such a cost-effective item, man. Love it. I remember when you were teaching Pyrian how to play Dota. Like well, after that week or so, every single hero he played by drums, <laughs> and he'd be like, "Shane, it's the best item in the game." Andy said so, and I was like, "Yeah, yeah, okay." <laughs> <laughs> It really is so good. But he literally bought it on every hero for like a week. Yeah, there's some heroes I wouldn't get it on, but... There's a lot of heroes I would get it on. I'd say like, I wouldn't get it on Darkseer. Tinker? I, I probably wouldn't get it on Tinker. Ella. I wouldn't get it on Silence. Yeah, yeah. On top lane, Fog trying to run away perfectly chased on here, done by C9. Yeah. And the, the cool thing about this particular is lineup is that if there's a tower there at tier 1, Dyer's the tower will be dead. Tower yeah. has Speaking of towers being dead, Radiant's tier 1 tower being backed over by the birds attack. on the bot lane. Very nicely done by Aoi. Yes, six down down here, he's got a bail. He can't save the, the tier one, unfortunately. Radiant's so it's a uh, tier one fallen. for basically a hero pickoff, because I believe that tower is already dead. At least the top lane no, was. Well, yes, well, the they, they, yeah. they got a trade on the tier one, because the Visage Birds got bought. Yep. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. We got it. We're doing it. Though it is happening. It's I mean, getting late. All right. It is getting late. With two Midas's going on on Cloud9, are you actually worried that they're down by seven kills at this point in the game? Or do, do Dog have to do a lot more to actually cement themselves into a big lead? I really think that uh, Dog have a pretty significant advantage right now. Because, oh yeah, the Cloud9 dying, oh, Highlight Eye just dog. dying casually in the top lane near the tier 2. It's, it's fine. It's, it's totally okay. But the, the biggest issue really is that Singh has nothing. Like, the Storm was supposed to have more in the situation, and he just didn't get a lot of it in his laning phase. I mean, heck, he died twice Radiant's yep. in the lane. Tower is under like, attack. that's not really a good thing, especially on a snowball hero like Storm, who desperately and needs to... And he was like... level 6 as well when he died. Yeah, and the thing is, he's not even rushing a BKB. He's just going straight Orchid, so he's going to be kind of doing the same thing that Solo was in the previous one, where he commits to the fight so hard that he's likely going to be dying every single time that he engages. Yeah, and big part of a lot of Cloud9 victory, um, AUI is generally the third core, which seems weird because he's generally playing support, but he generally has like a 20-minute um, agonims on Visage. Yeah. And he's got five death. We're not even close to even, a, you know, halfway there. So I think they're really in trouble with the cores not farming too well. Sing Sing and AUI in particular. I mean, Envy's doing well, but Envy's not playing one of those heroes that could just walk in a fight and turn the tie of the fight unless you get a five man silence. So. Well, what? Okay. He saw the illusion, yeah. He was panicking. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Sing. Yeah. Well, potentially, if I can, pops a song. Uh, arrow combo. Perfect. Oh, oh nicely oh. done. Fissure? No, it's slow. Oh, nice Echo Slam though from Pilot Die. Hits out two Fog. He's got Stampede on him. He's going to go down to Envy. Blink stun coming in from Smuggle. Like, they're going to be able to get one. Sing's already down. Actually, make that three. Oh, dead. And Envy is not. He's not having a good time. <laughs> the chain from downtown. Stop it one second. Blink forward. There's the double edge. Four down on the side of Cloud9. And Fog and Pycat are the only casualties from Team Dog. Cloud9 is getting wrecked. Yeah, it's it's looking pretty good, honestly. Let's just buy my for team dog. What is going on? It's like, you can do it. I can do it too. And somebody left a freaking Skype on yeah, on their tablet. It was like James. Fella. I just hear beep, beep, every couple of no seconds. No one talks to me on Skype, so it's probably. I just have mine on D and D because there's so many people that I just I can't deal with the noise, you know, because okay. they'll be going off like every it, second. Is there any reason that Bone Seven does not have a complete mech on him right now? He's got 2,500 gold. He's, he, he's gonna buy like bots. Radiance. Man. Is he so next level? It's like, oh, I'm gonna spend nothing but my unreliable gold and save my reliable gold. Yeah, but there's no reason to save that much reliable. Yeah, I, mean, gold. I don't know, man. It's just like. Hmm. I'm I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. He's gonna die here now. 
Yeah, yeah. he's pretty shocked. TP? Oh, the, the TP? Creep might save him. Creep oh, yeah. him. Yes! No, he's okay. dead. He's going with Shivas. What an honorable guy. I don't really Shivas. know what's going on. <laughs> he bought Shivas before he died, and he didn't lose a single point of gold. So he's going Shivas against a team Dyer's that has nothing but magic damage. Yeah, attack. but I, I can kind of see it because, like, the Naga Siren, and, and to an extent, like, most of their team don't really have escape mechanisms as long as you're carrying like dust for MSS. Dyer's oh, top I can't. Is under Wants to go on Aoi pretty hard here. Has a double damage rune. Sam Eats gonna be popped. Misery coming in from the back. Oh my god. There is no way you can run from that thing in the meantime. This is Highlight Dyer. Oh, 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 dead. Oh, this, the wickets are split. Sing is not getting that kill. Unfortunate. Teleport. The tornado! Oh, right. Beautiful. Beautiful. He does no damage. <laughs> that enchant totem was pretty optimistic for Pile I Die. That's got to be like the most depressing thing because enchant totem, even at rank one, it's like a double damage yeah. for you. And he's like, I'm gonna hit you with my giant tree. Uh, thou yeah. shall sage and the armor for tranquil boots. Holy. Well, this is a free Roshan. Yeah. I mean, I'm, whatever this game goes, Cloud Nine's gonna lose a lot of street cred after this game. Because, I mean, this is Roshan honestly has pretty lopsided. Like, yeah. The CS, you can see that Cloud9 are like effectively farming the map. They got two Midas's. You know, they're still getting stuff done. It just feels like they're not playing as a team. They're just like not communicating with each other at all. They're all out yeah. of position all the time. Top tower. I think I this game really showcased how important Bone 7 and AUI is for the team. Because, yeah, Radiant's Sing Sing and Envy is going to have the big farm and they close games out. But really early on, rotation wise, keeping the carries locked down and then protected. It's down to two supports, and unfortunately, AI's he's had his moments denying towers, black backdooring towers, but he's been picked off multiple times. Pilot dies off in his own worlds a lot of times and then gets picked off. So I don't, I don't think the support plays are, are keeping up. Wait, we're talking about the deny tower. Well, that was to do with him. That was him. He fissured everyone, and then the visage bird denied. Him. Oh yeah, I mean. You, you, you gotta click the, click the night button though. Let's go. Let's go rewind. Right, the first blood. Okay. That, Radiant's yeah. Top okay. Tower okay. Is under I'm just saying he's yeah. not had the greatest game. Yeah, yeah. So free tier Radiant one. Radiant top lane are here. Fortified. What? Huh. Yeah, I, I think it's just because they assume they're not gonna go tier two, which I'm, I'm guessing that Radiant's assumption is correct. Top anyway. tower they're coming. Fallen. I don't see they why not. Aegis, you have Aegis, yeah, yeah, they have Aegis, so they actually might just go for it. You have two. Aegis, Blink Centaur, and to be honest, you know, Invoker, or sorry, Radiant's Mizu top tower MSS, is whatever attack. his name is, as well as Pike. Just go through every name, just yeah. keep going. They, they, they are actually quite farm at this point. Holy crap, I finished Heaven's Howard. So is Envy is gonna have to get BKB. Yeah, he's not gonna be having the greatest time. I think Envy can actually push faster than the most of the... If he's not afraid, he's being very afraid right now because he has no idea where the enemy team is. Well, yeah, I mean, it's scary, man. Stampede. Yeah. He d the thing is, the Naga Siren oh, and the Centaur don't even have to be there. It could just be one hero. Dude, Envy's dead. Is he? He could be. He's grand. He's grand. <laughs> he's doing fine. At the very least, Cloud9 didn't lose their top tier too, yeah. which would have been really bad because the Glyph was kind of used wastefully. But, you know... I find it interesting that Smoke Lake didn't go for little pie. Pie lay die. He has no mana. He's just gonna leap in. Okay, that was oh, maybe not the best positioning oh, for a leap. A <laughs> board should be. The arrow landed, but he's out of here, man. See you later. Your two TP, Worf? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I mean, a lot of gold for the supports. When you're losing this well, battle. Yeah. Bone 7 has a Midas. I don't know, man. Yeah, but now he just lost like 50% of the is, last Midas. Aoi's known for like having a really, like, even in this situation, he's three and seven and he has a, he has a mm. point booster, a medallion, and 1300 gold. And it's how? I thought, how? The guy gets creep kills, man. Look, man. He has 31. It's he has 31, which is not a lot. It's, it's actually, like, I'm going to tell you on a secret, Bruno. Go on. Reliable gold. Dropping before you die. Actually, yep. it's a big part of like supports getting enough gold. And yeah, he's going to die here, you know. But, uh, let's, let's see what he buys. Let's right. see what he buys. He's, he's got nothing to buy, though. He's yes. gonna buy an Ogre Club and two TPs. Here it comes. Ogre Club, two TPs. He got Eric. Never mind, he's dead. Hmm. All right, well, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. He let me down. He should have bought Ogre Club. Should have bought Sentries, actually. A TP. I in is an Ogre Club. Oh, yeah. sure he has absolutely nothing, but he does, though. Okay, okay. Song, they're out of there. No, they're gonna fight. They're gonna mess Radiant's up. Here comes the EMP. Yo, attack. not looking good. He's not even oh gonna pull out. He just stood there and got stunned. Sing. Oh, sing. Oh, out of there. He might live. Okay. Yes, All right. Okay, that was clowny. Why is Pilate Dye still there? I am like in utter shock that he didn't fall away from that. He got the turn, in fairness. Yeah, but that doesn't matter. He nah, still would have dodged the EMP. He's like, Bone 7's got my back. 
Because the thing is, even if you don't get far enough away, the EMP doesn't hit you if you're bald. If you're in the Radiant's bald bottom form, yeah. tower is under attack. Like Sonic. Dyer's yeah. middle you're, you're tower much is Sonic. under yeah. attack. But anyway, the reaction from Team Dog, they're uh, all five down here right now. It's gonna get the tier two safe lane. No real contention. And there's no blitz. Radiant's they might just make a transition then, honestly. Fallen. I don't see why not. Shiva is completed. I'm so completely shocked that C9 does not have a mech yet. Like, yeah. this is just not going for it. Darkseer completely skipped it. And I get the idea of, hey, if I get hit by EMP, I'm not going to use my mech. Which there is more of a nod towards Shiva's. Cause Shiva's... Yeah, but Darkseer has pretty good ink gain, and his mana cost isn't that high. I, I, I absolutely agree. That's why, I'm, like, when you're losing fights, a mech would help out so much. Doesn't Darkseer have the highest ink game in, in the game? I'm pretty sure no, he no, does. No, no. Not the highest. Oh, Pugna, yeah. Pugna, Pugna and Skywrath are like 1 and 2, I think. But his sin gain is not bad, is basically the point that we're trying to make. So double blink now on Cloud9. Pilot Eye and uh, Envy both have yeah. their blinks. This could be the game the game changer. This could be the time where you get the five-man dunk, and then suddenly the game looks pretty easy. I mean, the way that Pilot Eye's been dropping fissures, he needs, he needs okay, that yeah. blink. But he Holy got shit. that Echo Slam bottom lane was pretty good. He I mean, they were surrounded sure him. That he puts himself in the hero to make sure that he doesn't miss because he needs the aftershock stun because <laughs> i think he would still miss the fish no i'm, I'm just kidding i, I mean it's, good. it's fine it's actually next level fissure he missed it so they're like yeah he, he's got no stun let's go yeah, yeah. and then he just like mind fucked them he baited it yeah <laughs> i don't know man that's pretty Radiant's optimistic top tower is under attack. two push up top i don't think Cloud i will be able to defend it after this they only have one tower left yep one tower one tower to rule them all Shane. I mean, tower to guard them. Top tower so has fallen. Were you? I think he said chain like four times. Fuck you, man. <laughs> what would Bruno say? Here now. I don't know. Bruno loves me. Oh, bottom ah. saying. Ah. Well, like, has it been? Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's yeah. gonna get stomped. No. Ooh. No, if he did it sooner, he would have gotten him. I think he kind of hesitated because he wasn't sure if he could catch him. It was on cooldown. Bone seven, surging away. That's only a level two surge. It's gonna wear off. Oh, there's Silence. Silence. He has Manta, though. Uh, he has Manta, 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 Fisher, oh, yes! yes. That was, almost, that was so close. Oh, feels good. Feels good to watch something go so well, you know? But yeah, I, I think Smogler could have actually gotten a kill on Sing there as well. Because if, this, if he did it like even a half a second sooner, he would have been in range for the stomp. Because Hoof Stomp Radius is actually pretty large. Mm. And then you would have been able to get the tornado afterwards and it would have been very dead Sing. But yeah. They'll take the, the Dark Seer kill. By the way, the Stark Seer is 0 3 and 0 in a 25 minute game. Yeah, very little impact in Does the game. Does it matter? Have Midas? He's actually only taking oh, those. Top lane oh. arrow. Oh. Saving so oh, Sunstrike's gonna come. God. Oh, bam! <laughs> That's a dead middle tower is under attack. Mm. What an arrow. Do you reckon this will be one of these GG calls? No, no. That ain't Cloud9. I don't think Cloud9 actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're gonna find MSS in the woods, though. That's nice. okay, now completed. On sync. Radiant structures are fortified. Yeah, that's a mega kill, so yes. 700 gold for him. So whenever I look at Bone 7, his Midas on CD, all right, he uses it. Okay. Bone I'm 7 almost running oh, into an arrow. They're going to find Aoi, but I don't think they want to commit to this He has feeling. the birdie protection. Yeah, it's a bit dangerous. I think they're more content to just kind of chill around and maybe go for the tower. So for Pycat, do you just go Deso? I think Deso is like really strong, especially when you're trying to break the base. Because like you well. already have Manta. Especially against like heroes like this that Radiant's don't really have the much armor. I think it depends on how, how long the game you think you want to drag it to. Because I don't think Deso is a really good late game item. I think Orchid is actually pretty legit on Murana. Yeah. It could be against the Storm, yeah. middle I guess. Tower has or fallen. if like, the Urshaker blinks in, right? And you can Orchid in before he does his full combo. That's I mean, awesome, pretty that's, well. that's pretty hard, right? If he brings in an Echo? Well, I mean, if you're not actually getting hit by the Echo, sure, it's sure, pretty sure. easy to yeah, stop yeah, like yeah. the Enchant and the Fissure. Yeah, but I'm in agreement with you with the Deso. Like, if you think you're going to end the game right now, which I think Team Dog definitely can, you go for the Deso. It's but like the most cost-effective item. Yeah. There's enough money to buy right now. Dyer's the bottom Necrobook? tower is under attack. Oh, it's... Listen, listen. Lich would love Jeez. two Lekum. Yeah, he's got the Midas. Hey. You know what CM got? Blink BKB and point booster and didn't do shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what I say, you go pipe <laughs> and Necrobooks. Yeah, but he doesn't have a pipe. I mean, Necrobook's still a damn good item. Doesn't matter like who you make it on. Yeah, it's kind of that it's, item. It's actually better when you make it on a pushing team, like they had. Hmm. I don't know, man. I think you're crazy. <laughs> crazy. So right. smoke in the woods, it's just two people just looking for picks, I guess? I mean, they definitely can. Like, these two have so much killing potential, they they picked the Invoker earlier, and they do see Misery Lich. Oh, not exactly so what they want. They have back 
Lich is I mean, phenomenal. they have a ward protection on their mid lane. It's are so they... funny how many wards are placed. <laughs> They're just like. They're actually afraid to go on this Lich. Are you kidding me? Yeah. He's in Nico 3. He's got a book 3. Yeah, right. gonna go. yeah you'll get the book off, though. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I think he's oh, yeah. Yeah. Good thing. Has no map. Oh, oh, he's keeping out. He's not. Yeah, he's just fine. Oh, he finds yeah. my light eye. Yeah. I mean, you'll take that trade. He gives Sing a kill. And some baby kill. One for one trade. Resummon. Resummon. Went for the Deso in the end. Yep. I like it. I like it a lot. Scout now Roshan, not up yet. Still got, uh, I think, two minutes left. Or no, it's actually... Nobody knows, Andy. Yeah, uh, whatever. It's freaking hieroglyphics to me, man. Ooh, can they kill smuggling, actually? Fucking science. Bastards. I mean, Magnus, how the hell do they work? Nobody knows. I think they smell really bad and they hate each other. Yeah, that's probably what it is. In my professional opinion. Like, you're Bruno, I, I'm, I'm in no place to argue with you. I probably you're a professor. You were? You taught, man. He teaches, me, he teaches me things every day. Yeah, same. He's a wise man. I don't know why I'm referring to you in the third person when you're sitting right next to me. I am as well, actually. <laughs> This that's is how a you know it's, move to do like that's I, how you know it's getting late. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're all kind of just like what? I, I already checked out. It's like C9 losing, no point. Jesus, so much for hashtag not biased. <laughs> Check out my team, my like losing. Not Fuck a biased caster, man. I'm like unbelievable. Man. I'm totally professional, guys. Okay, so Bone Seven has just forgone the boots build. He's gonna buy a blink dagger now, and MSS picks up a hex. Maybe he forgot. I, I forgot to do that once or twice. What to buy boots? Yeah. I think I was playing Weaver. You ever walk outside in the snow without shoes on? No, I actually brought my boots specifically for today, because it was snowing today in Sweden, and I was like, fuck it, I'm wearing my boots. Yeah, you packed like nothing but winter clothes, yeah. and we actually had like a really mild winter yeah, this yeah. year. I have all winter jumpers, and I only have like two normal hoodies. Jesus. It's a disaster. All right, so first hand attempt here from Dog. I, I think could Cloud9 have should be able to react. They, they're eyes. completely ready for it. They have to smoke up. They're waiting for somebody to farm bot. Is that, I don't is think that their the ward reaction? actually no, sees, though. No, no their not, ward yeah. coverage doesn't see them walking into the pit. I mean, oh, it's oh, the time they get there, they have Song, they have Moonlight Shadow. This, around. There's no way this could go well for Team C9. Oh my god. Oh, they no, see every single one. Sentry's dropped, but he's actually out of range. They pop the song. Sing balls in. Oh, the no. EMP doesn't land. We're so bad. Song. Highlight, that needs How the are biggest they gonna dunk of his life. He's heading oh, side back in. What's that? That's an airbag dunk. Everybody's alive thanks to Mech, though. And now they're going to re engage. Bone 7 is going to melt. Mila Chain Frost bouncing left and right on the back line. MB's dead. Ari's going to be dead quickly as well. That was the most best coordinated. Oh, my man dunk. But it didn't do Jack Squad. That Holy was a five-man vacuum launcher. Don't get him to do anything. Holy shit, man. How can you get that good of a combo and just lose? They get wiped. They didn't kill a single person. Oh, the that's, va value mech. That's got to be GG. My way. Yeah, that's GG. Radiance middle tower. Oh, I mean, okay, first of all, they didn't have Shivas there, which is some fortified. damage. The storm was dead in the beginning of the fight, and Envy wasn't doing jack squat. The birds wasn't doing their what? anything. What? That looked like it was gonna go so well, and then all of a sudden it was Radiance like, what? No one took full life. No one took any damage. Everyone had Radiance like a million wand charges and mechs and then. All of a sudden, your your ulti just doesn't really feel like Actually, that's, that's only one racks down. If they can hold this racks, which I don't think they can, but the they can do this, but I don't think they will. Yeah, I don't think they can. Oh. Sing's already out of mana. Oh, oh, okay. Shit. Oh, okay. Oh, that's how you say it. Oh, they're dead now. <laughs> well, White's pilot, Pycat just left out with two. He has Aegis still. Me. I feel like it actually would have been better for him to just die there. And the fight. engaged? Yeah. Mm. Well, they'll be happy with that. They still didn't lose a single person. Dyer's bottom tower that, is under uh, attack. Uh, 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 I guess Cloud9 just goes with the whole uh, never give up, never surrender mantra. You know? Yeah. I, I like it. That's how I play Dota as well. Lose, but lose with a smile. What? You keep the smile, I get a frown. Yeah. Because I came, you're just like that. You're like, oh, it's, we're having a great time. We're going to work. You're like one in nine. <laughs> I'm just like, God, kill me. <sighs> yeah, it was, it was good. You know, if you're not down by like 20 kills, that combo would have done a lot. So you're saying is if you're not behind, you're ahead. Oh. No, I'm just saying the chance of comeback is, is very slim. Was that a level one Echo Slam or level two? No, it was two, I think. Yeah, it was two. I checked, I definitely checked right after he died, he's level 11. Unless he got some next level experience that leveled him up. 
which is possible because there were necropokes around. Yeah. I wonder if Team Dog were actually as shocked at that as we were, because when you see that happen, oh, they're going to be able to catch up by getting a tornado. Yeah. 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 over the tornado, though. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't seem to matter. Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, and Smoke League finds Pally Die anyway. That poor, poor Earth Golem guy. And uh, they're going to smoke. And be blinks away and PT's in base. I don't know, man. I don't know. Pilot high, or not pilot high, excuse me, Bone 7 is 0, 5, and 0. <laughs> man, he would have got five assists right there in that I, team. He five. has not been involved in anything. You call that five no. man vacuum not being involved? Yeah, I, I agree. That, I mean, that was like. Okay, it was a sick vacuum. That. And but well, maybe if he did anything prior to 30 minutes into the game. Look, I agree he should have got a mech. But, with all the Or boots. What do you think about boots? Boots over. Radiant's okay. top tower is under attack. Boots, man. Only rely on surge. Just wear gloves. They need I'm just confused how Team Dog is that clump. But, yeah, uh, but it's it kind of like it's Radiant's one of those things we see Sing is like slept and you want to try to go in and like go for the instant combo. Oh, Bone Seven, he dead. He didn't buy that guy. Sing Sing text. Yeah. There you go. We got an upset, boys. That was beautiful. Radiant's well, I think, is is I think everyone was kind of saying, you know, like if Team Dog bring their A-game, maybe they can perform. Nobody was saying that here. What? I I first picked Misery, actually. Yeah, he first picked Misery. So uh, Bruno, next level tactics. But <laughs> I do have to commend them because, honestly, they made something that we've seen a lot actually work, which is Centaur, which is still a little bit unconventional, if you yeah. ask me, because the hero's track record... Has